I just got my first blog related injury. I cut my finger on the tripod. It's telescopic and I slid it and pinched it and I sliced it open and now it's bleeding. This is hardcore stuff, man. Hard core serious blogging bra. I made myself plead my own blood. Looks like the last of the local Nitro Circus shows just ended. Uh, Milwaukee, I think, was yesterday, maybe? It's like Minnesota and North Dakota coming up this weekend. If you guys haven't been to one of those, go check it out. It's freaking sweet. And hang out afterwards because Travis Pastrana is everywhere. Super cool dude. I met him at a dealer show a few years ago. Literally, like, the dude is everywhere. So I'm like 10 times that weekend. So go check those out. That's awesome. We're getting really stoked for November 8th, our open house in Swap Main, all right? We're getting phone calls already, people asking if it's definitely going on. Yes, it is definitely going on. We've never canceled one due to rain or snow or it's gonna be, we're like the mail, we're like the post office here, all right? Rain, sleet, and snow, I don't even know what the rest of that is. But we're doing it. Oh, Bob Bart is here. My little friendly face. Let's see what he has to say. How long have you been doing pistons and oh, motors? Shit, so ten years old. And this is the worst one you've ever seen in your entire life. Yep. No kidding. The ride. So yeah, how bad's the rest, here. the motor, and everything? Well, it's right there. So you have you? I don't know if I should trust it or not. This is out of a. Uh, I don't, it banged the pistons against the head so hard I'm afraid it might be leaking. Well, yeah. So what are you going to do? Resleeve it? And I can resleeve it. That's not a problem. But what if I resleeve it? I start it up and when yeah. the water and the coolant goes in there, it starts spraying my spark plug down. That's a bad one. That's a bad, that's a bad <laughs> yeah. thing. So anyway, I'm going to take it to some experts. Oh, there you go. More of an expert than you are? Maybe. <laughs> All right, Bob's out of here. He's a cool dude. If I knew, uh, you know, a milliscule, milliscule, a minute, tiny, a tiny little bit of what he knew, I would be a genius. Uh, so yeah, back to the swap. This area behind me, all of this stuff is going to be. Well, this is before the trailer even gets here. So everything from the swap meet is coming here also. Tables all over the place. This will be deal central up here. And then upstairs is going to have all the parts and inventory. There's deals up there. There's clots. There's helmets. There's track stands. There's tracks. Whatever it is that you're looking for. And i got to find a phone. Oh, both phones are here. Cool. Yeah. No. For real? Are they on the UPS truck? Yeah, I love the King UPS with FedEx. I don't know. I feel like it's FedEx. Did any other FedEx show up? Nope. Are you expecting FedEx? Only what you ordered yesterday, which didn't make the cut, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah I don't know if it did or didn't. All right, I'll probably just try to figure it out. All right, cool. Cool, thanks. Yep, we'll see ya. Mike, phoning it in today. No, nah, he's gonna be here, for real, in a little bit. I better get organized! I just spent about an hour looking for this upstairs. Brian stops in. I did. You must be really good at Easter egg hunts. Yeah, finders, keepers, losers, beavers, there you go. all that stuff. Yeah. There you go. Brian found it. MVP of the day. So we appreciate it. I'll look at it, put it right back in the box, and just going back out again today to get stretched. I'll run home. I got a ZX7, it's a drag bike. Um, with, with a bunch of nitrous on it, and I'm going 75 inches for next year. And I needed the new swing on, so I'm just going to look at some book. He was one right here. Let me give him a call. Nice. I really appreciate y'all business, man. No, I appreciate the call back. Thanks so much. All right. You have a nice day. You do the same. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was that street bike swing arm. That was a call to say thank you. 
for the A plus business price and speedy delivery. Good. Good. Go back to normal life. Take a little look around. See what's new. Holy shit! A lot of stuff going on right here. Yeah. There's Mike working some deals. Customer. That one's gonna be for sale probably. That one's going to parts. Customer. Parted. Customer. John. Brad. Customer. Customer. Parts, 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 parts. I got a chance today to talk to Bob Bo of the Riverbend Bender Snowmobile Club and he's looking for guys to help pound some stakes if you got an ATV, UTV, whatever, uh, even if you just got some muscle and some time, that would be very helpful. Um, there's only a few guys that go out there and do it and they're all old timers so we need some young bucks to get out there and help these guys out. If you guys ride around here, this is your chance to give back and help out this local snowmobile trail system. You guys are the ones bitching about it and being like, ah, it sucks, no, you can't mark this and mark that. This is your chance. You go out there and do it. Come on and help us out, all right? Uh, we're we'll gonna be doing it in the next couple weeks here. Mike and I are gonna try and make it out there and help them out as best we can. Uh, the Riverbend Benders have an event on Sunday. It's Stads, Stades, Stades, Stadies, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Stades, I think it is. Uh, pumpkin Farm or Farm Market. I completely butchered that part of it, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this Sunday, uh, it's like a crock pot chili thing. Chili dump, that's what it is. Uh, 10 bucks, 25 bucks for a family. You get a pumpkin, a hayride, hot dogs for the little picnic area out there. You bring a pot of chili and they dump it in and everybody eats chili. Sounds like a good idea to me. That's uh, this Sunday at noon. The hayride's at 3. But uh, great bunch of people. Go check that out. You'll be friends with some local snowmobilers. Maybe find a new friend there. You know, riding buddies. Do go, go do out. The, you know, go out there and do some ditch banging. So, uh, but most importantly, we need some people to help with staking out the land. Um, if you guys know land owners in this area, mostly right here, uh, Volo Lakemore area right here. I'm gonna make some calls too and see if I can help them out here back by the golf course and see if we can get a little trail system coming through here. Right past the shop would be freaking sweet. So I'm gonna try my best to help my make that happen, but who knows? But uh, support a local ditch banging, local trail riding, and clubs. Join a club. That's the only way that we're gonna actually have trails in the area. So if you're riding in Illinois, join a club, make a difference, make it happen, keep them around. Thank you.